Hello. So we're still on day one training and this video is all about the core values. And so each day you're going to do and um, learn about all the details that you need to know about each core value so that we're all on the same page and we're all um, knowing all the information that you need to know to do your job effectively. So going forward, we're, today's core value that we're going to talk about is safe haven. A home away from home where we all learn how to be safe, respectful, and kind. So each one of you, if you haven't already signed um, your job description, you have a um, one page page that will go over in detail regarding each core value what you need to know to do your job and you will sign it if you haven't already done so so that we make sure that everybody's aware going forward before you continue on with your job that you know what our expectations are and if you have any questions going forward so each position there's a director there's um, teachers there's floaters slash, slash substitutes and then we'll also have a kitchen person to also um, have a job all these will have different job descriptions so we're going to go over each one for each section so that um, you're aware of what the job the jo say you're not a director but you want to you know it's good to know what your director has to do every day so the first one we're going to talk about for the job description under safe haven for the director and I'll um, read the bullets and go over each one um, and explain some of the, the ways we look at how to, to expect on making sure that we're providing that in our core values. So safe haven, maintain a safe and healthy work environment to make sure that the school is kept clean, make sure that everybody that's coming in is either having a temperatures check or making sure you're watching the kids and, and just being very diligent on making sure that it's a safe place for the kids and the staff to be and to make sure that it's a healthy work environment. Make sure that, you know, just making sure that it's healthy, you know, and clean. I gotta make sure it's clean. So then ensure that the center and staff conform to federal, state, and local rules, regulations, and licensing requirements. So make sure that you, you've taken your um, your up-to-date on a regular basis, keeping up-to-date, reading emails, reading you know the website to make sure that we are following all of those rules on a regular basis. That way when licensing comes in, that we are doing everything that we're supposed to be doing. Maintain staff personnel files. And again, this is all the stuff under the job description for the director. Um, and then maintain children's files, ensuring that all physical examinations, forms, and health immunization records are current. So those are all the things that a director under the core value safe haven has to make sure that she does on a regular basis. The other job description would be a teacher. So under safe haven for a teacher is supervise and ensure the safety and well-being of the children at all times according to the staff expectations. So make sure that you're you're making sure you know how many kids are in your classroom. Make sure that you make sure little Johnny's not jumping off the the shelf and just making sure that the well-being of the children are is your top priority. Ensure a safe environment including expect inspections of the materials and the environment. So make sure that you're checking the toys on a regular basis and they're not broken. Because if they're broken, we have to throw them away. Make sure that the children are using them the right way so that we don't have to replace a lot of toys because that's that's very costly. And it's, it's you know, we all want to get raises at the end of the, you know, the year or after your 90 days or whatever the case may be. So just make sure that you're staying on top of being there with the kids and um, definitely, you know, it's safe for them. Decorate the room, including any hallway or parent area. So you'll have a parent board. Make sure that it's decorated. It's up to date. You're rotating. You're, maybe you're, you're, you're putting artwork on the walls. Make sure that it's, it's rotated on a regular basis. And then that work, after it comes off the walls, is going home at the end of the week. Um... Make sure it's 
walk in and make sure that there, it's, there's not a lot of clutter. Um, parents are going to be coming in and out of your classroom, and you want to make sure that they're they're um, seeing a clean and organized classroom. Maintain daily atten child attendance logs. Make sure you're staying up to date on the kids' portfolios and, and keeping them up to date. And we'll go into detail more on that as we go forward. So that was for the teacher position. Then for um, your floaters slash substitute teacher, um, make sure that you're um, supervising and ensuring the safety and well-being of the children at all times according to staff expectations. Make sure you're keeping the staff that you're working with, you're communicating with them, you know, I mean, that's just showing them respect, that's just being kind. Um, the more you communicate, the better you can do your job and the better that the person you're working with can do their job. So, I hope you have got a better understanding on how we are looking at providing a safe haven for the kids in our care. And if you have any questions at the end of this video, please jot them down. And when we sit down and at the end of your training day, we can go over any questions that you might have. Have a great day, and I hope you're having fun.